first time i am very much uh, satisfied and uh, i think i think kritika was very instrumental in making this happen so yes it, with the time everything that took that attention to detail all her feedback it was a great uh, experience working with her and vishnu as well the team i actually attended a webinar session i think it was with uh, ajay and nitin uh, where uh, they took people to the dip- their application process and the services that they provided and i think i found that uh, very comprehensive uh, the entire webinar as well and the services and uh, even they were very prompt with all the questions that i had so that was one of the things that uh, worked for me i would say they were very uh, quick in taking up any questions and uh, answering any concerns that i had yeah it did feel overwhelming in the beginning because there were so many sheets and so many excels to fill which uh, felt like oh my god it was a lot of work right at that point because you are also working side to side and you are also preparing for your gmat and everything so that it felt overwhelming but i think it was a good idea because later on those things provided a lot of structure to me yes definitely i think it took a lot of uh, back and forth for uh, the for cv to happen but uh, at the end result was uh, really good i was really satisfied with all the information that we put and how we put it and uh, uh, one of the things that i really liked was the commitment of the team and you know focusing on every small thing that even if i would skip something that they would be very much uh, uh, what do i say particular about it so that was really good that someone is putting so much effort and attention into it Oh, okay, great. And would you remember who was your editor? I think uh, uh, the one was Vishnu, and uh, another person. Uh, I don't remember his entire name. It started with Shri. I think Shri Ram, some something. Was it a lady or? Uh... No, 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 no. And uh, then it must be Shikhar, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, yes, Shikhar. It was Shikhar. Correct. Yes. Uh, Vishnu is from the operations team. Uh, he's not the editor, but yes, okay. he would have been your uh, go-to person for all your requirements in terms of your CV or you know. Yeah, probably, editing. probably. Okay. So Shikhar was your editor, and uh, trust me, he is one of the best that we we have. So oh, that, I yeah, hope that I'm you know sure. the CV turned out really, really well, and um, you are finally happy with the outcome. Yes. Yes. Definitely, I am. I was not able to take an action on all the recommendations because of the time crunch, uh, but I think it was very detailed and uh, it covered uh, main points. It uh, showed me where, where all I had to work and uh, given my profile, which colleges I should aspire to for. So yes, I think it it, it was very help helpful. It I think made me you know help me set a goal in my mind. Well, not all of them. Like like I went to um, sorry I went to. Uh, the one about how to uh, I'm not able to remember. Just give me one Stop minute. No, no, no. Um, I think it was about uh, that one. Uh, how to set your long-term and short-term goals. Okay. On uh, on what basis do you set your long-term and short-term goals, and uh, how do you research for colleges? Great. So, uh, so whatever webinars you went to, uh, can you just give a feedback on the content that you that was there? Anything that you feel can be done in a better way, added or whatever? No, I think the webinars were good. I think most of the webinars that I attended were taken by Pratika herself, and uh, they were very interactive. So she asked a lot of questions, which uh, which you know also made me uh, realize what other people are doing. So I think uh, it was it was really good. I I wouldn't suggest any improvement there. I think the response time was great because uh, as soon as I dropped an email, I immediately got in, got a response from uh, Vishnu in like an hour or a couple of hours or so. Um, but I think the main point of concern was how to reach because uh, I was not able to reach anyone through phone call. So in every every day, every time I wanted to talk to someone, I had to drop an email, which kind of I believe slowed down the process a bit. It was good, especially for the essays. I think uh, Pratika had some really useful insights, and uh, uh, like I said, like uh, just like Vishnu and others, uh, she was very uh, attentive to every single point, every single detail, mm-hmm. and uh, she was also very encouraging. So uh, it was it was a good experience, and it was more like a learning, right? Because I know so many people who just get their essays written by their. consultant and counselors but uh, through this process i got to learn about the institutes and just you know my writing skills and my 
agenda and i think uh, that is something that uh, will help me in the interviews as well uh, i think uh, jima uh, sorry curry labs had, has by curry labs and byjuice they have really good content on the verbal section of the jima but uh, i think uh, maths can be improved a bit more okay english yeah. english really helped me a lot uh, it was uh, very enlightening i would say it was uh, good the entire thing and it really helped me increase my score right so i got a 40 in verbal 90 percentile so i i would attribute that to the course that i took through uh, by jews but uh, i think maths could have been handled better uh yes so interview i think uh, it was a very short session where just uh, dr pita asked me a few questions and she gave me uh, advice and uh, give me uh, provided me structure so yes i think that was uh, helpful i think it would have been better if i would have been able to get multiple sessions but because uh, it was a time crunch i could not get more sessions so when the actual interview happened uh, were there any similarities in 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 the questions or you know the nature of questions asked by the you know atcom uh no actually but uh, that uh, was true for everyone that i prepared with my i, I think my interview comes happened on a com- on completely different lines okay. but even then even then uh, uh, what critica advised me to work on the structure and everything that that did help me. uh i i i would i would uh, probably give them the advice to reach out to you people because i think the entire process was uh, really good it was uh, helpful and uh, i think the best part about it was that it implored people to do their own research which helped it at least helped me but if someone is absolutely depending on the counselor i don't know how that would work but uh, for me it was really good it was very uh, educating experience and i learned a lot through it that's that's really you know something uh, we don't get to hear that much aditi to be very frank because most of the clients expect that you know we will be doing everything on their behalf So yes. Last, you know, you you said that you know uh, since most of the part, the research part specifically had to be done by the student or you know by the applicant itself. Uh, exactly, because a, a applicant is the only person who's supposed to sit in the interview, right? You guys won't sit in the interview for him or her. So it makes sense that the research should be done. See, if I'm researching a hundred things, two will be put in the essay. I get that, but then those other eight things can be used in the interview. and that's that won't happen if someone is making the essays for me or doing my work for me so even though the process was uh, i would say time consuming and very much laborious from my end but i think it it uh, to me ultimately mm, i think i think i would uh, keep it around 8 uh, and 9 because uh, the entire process was really good uh, like i said there was a bit of a problem in the communication although when i dropped the email i was able to get to everyone but you know sometimes it's like okay let me just give a quick call and get it resolved because otherwise i have that anxiety that i'm i'm on the email uh, has it gone has it been replied has it been seen yet so just for that purpose and uh, um i think yeah i, I think one issue that i faced was uh, with uh, uh, getting getting into an ngo with the uh, catalyst and surprisingly i never heard from them i was not even given any information or access to any other ngo okay so this must have been part of the pga where you would have been asked to do some kind of volunteering act. yes yes So, did you enroll with uh, any of the NGOs? Uh, was the list shared by the team? I yes, yes, and I put in my preferences. I even had an interview with uh, Catalyst. Okay. I not not an interview like a call with them, but uh, I never really heard back. Oh, okay. I'll I'll certainly have that check as to what happened. Uh, if internally we received anything or not, but I'll certainly check that. But yeah. if you, uh, I mean, you are. I mean, if they do uh, have a requirement, would you be interested? Yeah sure I would be 